get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. Cougan Cancer Cypher will see me in association with Macklin. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna knock you out. Cougan Cancer in association with Macklin's Jim Marbay. I've got the big sexy with me. Fucking hard work to get this interview with you today. Yeah, man. Just tired, you know? Yeah, but come on, man. Had a hard fight there against the joint of a man. Perkovic. Perkovic. Yeah, yeah. Price, yeah. Isn't he? It is, yeah. He's far pricey, yeah. Pricey stopped him now, but Pricey's a bigger man than me, isn't he? I'm a small heavyweight. How did you assess your performance tonight? Listen, I I could have boxed better, but I was just he was just very awkward, and I found it hard to adapt. But I got the win in the end. I won every round, so I was happy enough with the win. You and like, the rounds under the belt. You look like you've done a bit more weight since the last year. Seventeen four stone seven now. Yeah. So many stone half cruiser. Couple yeah. of stone left anyway. But listen, I'd see what happens. It could be done down with the cruiser. A lot of people would like to see me a cruiser, I think, but. Would it kill me or would it, I don't know. But we'll give it a bash. We'll have to sit down and chat and see how things go. Well, I've been uh, following your Twitter as I always do uh, over the last sort of 24 hours, 48 hours. I've seen a little verbal exchange with uh, Rogie. Yeah. Uh, where did that start from? Ah, it's going on a long time now. Just a bit of banter backward and forward, you know. Yeah. Martin, did you say he'll man. fight you in the street? He <laughs> said, yeah, he wants to fight me in the street. I said, listen, we don't get paid in the street, so don't be stupid. No <laughs> point of fighting on the street, you know what I mean? And there was, I'd still win anyway. Um, but in the ongoing... That's where I've learned my trade my whole life, on the street. But like you said, you don't get paid to fight on the street, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So keep, keep it in the ring. carry on, yeah. Keep it in the ring. Every time I interview, we're still talking about the same opponent because you ain't fought him yet. What, what, what's the crap? Surely you two should just draw a line <laughs> now and say, you're not fighting each Woo! other. No, well, listen, forget him. Forget him now. Gavin, forget about it. You price yourself out of it. You don't want to fight the big sex bomb. You don't want to be knocked out by him. Forget it. The fight's gone. Don't you know what? It. I like Gavin, yeah? Ga Every time Gavin's come over, he's a nice fellow. We've interviewed him loads of times. I say he's funny, Ga you know? Gavin's obsessed with you. <laughs> yeah. Or is it you're obsessed with Gavin? Nah, he just... Every now and again, I get bored. I just slag him. Send him a little tweet and think you I set him off then, then he goes. <laughs> then he like takes back a couple of days later or something. It's just, listen, I'd say if the two of us met one another, we'd probably just sit down and laugh and joke about it, to be honest. There's no bad blood around him. It's been going on for <laughs> two years. It's like every time. But um, listen, it's one of them things. He but seems like a really nice person, he's but he's a shit really boxer. Like he's a shit boxer. That's it. There's no doubt about it. He's daft for the shite. He's a nice fella, he's a nice fella, and he's had a lot of hard fights, a lot of tough fights, he's been around for yeah, a long time. Yeah, like, he has been in with the best now, in fairness, and he's been knocked out with the best. But I consider myself one of the best, so I'd have to knock him out as well. Then we could have a point and a giggle and a woo after it, you know. You want to give us a woo? Woo! <laughs> um, what's, your, what's your plans then? Obviously, you're not going to fight again this year. No, well, I think I'm out. You are going to fight again this so, year. Yeah, are you going to fight on the undercard of um, Deco and Tennyson? Hopefully, I hope yeah, so. Wherever Listen, that I'm is. not too sure. Yeah. It's up to the management now. So I'll see how they think of the performance and hopefully I'm out again on that, that show. That would be great before because I'll be 10 and 0 then. 2017 looks like it could be a big year for you uh, yes. and a crucial year for you. Huge, mate. Huge. This 2017 is when I start wrapping toils around my waist. Yeah. You know, when I start making big bread, I start driving Lamborghinis, Ferraris, the lot. Tyson Fury levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hope so. But um, like I said, you'll be hopefully. Like I said we'll see ten and zero by the end of the year, and then uh, uh, in 2017, you got you, you want some big names. The world's didn't you? my oyster, isn't it? Yeah. 2017. Listen, my manager are doing a great job now at the moment. Anyway, get me fights, keep me busy. They'll know what's best for me next year, and that's it. That's all I have. We don't know what's in the future, but listen, all I know is I'm gonna win titles and make a lot of money. All right, well, listen, big sexy, unless you've got anything else you want to add? No, mate. You look very tired, mate. I'm tired, man, yeah. I'm just going to go home, chillax with the girlfriend, the kids, and just enjoy life, mate. That's it. You know? it's all about, <laughs> life's all about enjoying. Yeah.
All right, well, listen, Sean Turner, thanks all to IFL TV, and I'm sure we'll catch up with you soon. Cheers, Kilby. Thanks right. a million. Mate. Thank you very much.